Each table consists of a series of rows and columns and intersections. Tables are related to each other by sharing common entity characteristics. And these tables, whether conceptually or, or technically, are the key way to all modern relational databases working today. They're essentially tables are the core to the way modern RDBMS systems work. So how do you create your tables? Well, firstly, you need to decide which data elements are going to go and be the crucial ones in your business. And then you design and build your tables around those entities. And in those tables is encoded the clear relationships between every single entity. Hey, we just started to do a bit of the job of a database developer. Tables have been at the core of databases for the last 40 years. And it's a really important concept. Why? Simply because it goes back to the idea of Edgar Codd, often called Ted Codd, so I might call him Ted every now and then. Ted Codd and his philosophy of database design. If you remember, we spoke about Edgar earlier. Truth is that all database candidates know about the famous Codd's rules. These rules, of course, are not important for you and I to know. Um, in terms of uh, recruitment necessarily, but everyone within database design knows Ted Cos rules. So I guess we should be aware of some of them. Simply because they are pretty much the religious rules that underpin modern database design. Edgar Codd, 12 rules are behind all of modern database design. Now this is boring, but good. Cod's 12 rules of database design include the following. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these, but let's just go through some of these. I warn you, these may not seem exciting to you and me, but for database developers, these are like statutes from the founding fathers, so we should pay respect to some of these. There are rules like all databases that are touted as being relational should be truly relational. Every piece of data should be logically stored once and once only in a table. Hmm, that makes sense. Every piece of data should be accessible to one user or many users depending on access levels. The data contained must not be impaired by external applications that are connected to that database. Oh, that, that's good. That means that external applications shouldn't compromise the actual data entities within your database, so the structure of the database isn't affected. You see what I mean in terms of you and I not fainting with excitement, but it makes sense that all of the classical corporate databases that you are going to see on CVs, including the mighty IBM DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, and the Oracle systems, well, they all have their designs well and truly rooted in COD's 12 rules. I haven't gone into the rest uh, because you and I simply won't be able to fully understand the technical pronouncements ingrained within those 12 rules of database design, but it's not important. One thing that is important though is for you to understand that when it comes to excellent database design, all your candidates know that Cod laid down the foundations and in essence, he highlighted three key attributes that a good database should exhibit. These actually you and I can comprehend and these are to follow that all databases should show efficiency. This is simply that the database, the database should be able to handle large amounts of data without collapsing. Okay, um, it should exhibit persistence. And this is the ability to maintain the integrity of the data regardless of the computer applications or external power supplies that are attached to it. Good, yeah. Um, so if an external application fails, the data within your database should remain intact. And resilience. 
A database should show resilience. This is what Ted Codd said. This is the ability to overcome external failures and to maintain the quality and reliability of your data regardless of what is happening around it. So if a power supply completely fails, well, the data shouldn't be wiped out by that failure. Hmm. So you're getting an, an idea about the founding principles of good database design. So, okay, that's good. Those were the early foundations of databases all set up. Now, think about this. We have IBM, a monolithic company, uh, which is often a hotbed of innovation, but doesn't always know what to do with those inventions. They came up with this language called SQL, eventually called SQL, a company with a huge R&D department where intellectual hippies can create ideas that will eventually change the world. We have Ted Codd, one of those geniuses within IBM, highly intellectual and awfully nice, but maybe not too business savvy. What we need now is a hungry, driven entrepreneur to drive some life into the whole database arena. You see, IBM didn't quite understand what they had created with SQL. Um, somebody else would. Enter Larry.